Welcome to our first episode of Dissect the Dialect. I'm your boy, Tahuti the Atlantean, a.k.a. Hermes Trismegistus, a.k.a. Chase Clarence Calloway. OGs call me Chikatet, spirits call me Irisel, you can call me Symmetry, the god of balance. And what is balance? Air, animating everything that we can see. Of course, we can't actually see air, we breathe air. What we see is all the earth that is suspended inside of the airy atmosphere, like this body, for example. Breathing all that nice air, showing that we are all connected and that we all desire to connect what we normally cannot connect, which is our individual imagination and thus the individual space from which we generate our imaginations. This is why my spirit built Mercury. Mercury is my world, my metaphysical space in the universe where I and all the indigenous death spirits, anyone who wants to gain real wisdom, can sit back and reflect upon all the lights in the astral realm and how all spirits are using their creations to generate what we call life. So we can then observe the patterns in which spirits express themselves and gain more wisdom about the subconscious realm and really who we are as a core. So here on Mercury, we reflect upon and communicate about everything that we are observing in the universe so we can gain better wisdom and insight on ourselves and our place in it and how we desire to help and fit in with others. This is where my team trains spirits to become death spirits or psychopomps, as the Greeks would say. This is the point of why I created Mercury, to make spirits aware that life is created through communication. Your body, your earth, is a structure that was created from your airy mind's desire to stabilize, practicalize, and ground how it communicates and connects with other spaces outside of itself. So as symmetry, I'm on a mission from Mercury right now. I got indoctrinated into white supremacist society. Now I'm Chase Clarence Calloway, and I can use this language to relay my mind in this new internet age and relay divine messages, as well as building a whole library of ascension and awakening. So spirits who don't want to get lost in lies that separate them from themselves don't have to. We're right here. This is my job as Hermes Trismegistus, after all. Fly around the universe with my cosmic chi conductor, my caduceus, and relay the divine message of how, no matter how you feel about your circumstances, you as a spirit are creating them, or else you would be nothing. From here, we can more consciously connect and communicate and build structures to support the families and soul groups that we desire to connect with. But we have to know who we are first. And at that essence, we are God. You are God. You are the center of your universe. You are the creator of your circumstances because you are the circumstances first. You are nothing before you become something. And you are constantly making something from nothing all because you feel like it. So in Dissect the Dialect, we know that language is life. The words we speak settle into the structures in which we sleep. Why? Because words are earth. Words are the particles of matter we send out with air in order to water, aka connect with others. Therefore, words are just light that don't mean anything until we connect with them, give them significance, and vibe. And just like all things vibrate at a certain frequency, all words vibrate at a certain intention. The only way spirits can agree on using any language is if it resonates unconsciously, subconsciously, and then consciously. Meaning that with no thing being a coincidence, all words, all sounds that rhyme, stand the test of time. 
for they show how spirits have to resonate with a sign and vibe deeply enough in that space for these words to matter. This is how we cosmically create Earth out of water, by using air, which is a product of water, our desire to connect, and the element that makes us separate from everyone in the universe, our individuality our desire to shine and be understood for who we truly are on the spiritual nothingness inside. Our fire is our personal desire, our infinitely invisible imagination that separates us from other spirits. This is why no one can touch fire except the space creating it. No one, not one, no one can touch your imagination except you the one, the individual creating the imagination. You are God, you are God, you are God. Can we get this, Did we get this? You're the one, you're the one. Cause it's your imagination. It's just that you want to connect your imagination to all of us. So you sacrifice your individuality. And now we're on a simulation together where we can relate with these words. You're God though. Any natural life simulation is created by spirits condensing their individually fiery imaginations in order to cool down and create water that actually allows them to connect, reflect, and thus communicate with spirits outside of themselves so they can express their individual imaginations to someone who is able to listen and comprehend in a way that allows them to build something productive. This is how we create Earth. Therefore, all words are made up. All the words are made up by light. This light is then made heavy, depending on how we connect with that idea and wait, wait in that vibration. We wait in that vibration and we wait in our connections until they weigh something, until they matter. Everything is something, hence why numbers are the universal language for all spirits. Numb her. Numb hers make her numb to her feelings, a.k.a. separate spirits from their emotions, thought, logic. Numbers are the negatively yet necessary dry thoughts that stabilize the chaotically wet emotions that spirits have about connecting with one another. Dry earth numbers, four, and wet watery feelings, two, come together to create a simulation in which we can communicate, connect, and create what we consume. Six, sex. So I've created this series to dissect our dialect and dive deep into how all the words vibrate at a certain frequency based on the intentions of the spirits who created said language. So as we explore how words, worlds, and thus energy vibrate at a certain intention, we can then see why words that rhyme stand the test of time, for they show how spirits desire to connect and stay aligned in their ability to turn a dime, a dime being heaven for it represents how you feel good about connecting your one and zero, your ego and your space. Spirit is showing us that change is constant. Everything is vibrating and thus being animated by chi, air. We create words to contain, categorize, and control connections, four C's for this rigid box. The fact is, you cannot create life without connecting with yourself before connecting with others. All spirits must connect with themselves before they can even create the opportunity to connect with others. Hence why words, no matter their intended meaning, resonate differently with different spirits based on how they all connect with themselves internally. So my spirit space built Mercury to stabilize how it connects with itself and thus the universe. This is why I, Tehuti Hermes Trismegistus, am back in a body labeled Chase Clarence Calloway. The nature spirits creating this simulation 
have called me away from my space to chase my desires of teaching spirits how they build life and spreading wisdom so that I can assist with this whole ascension process we've got going on. Gotta stop climate change, guys. <laughs> so now that you know where I'm coming from, let's start making these connections so we can more consciously communicate, correlate, and connect our spaces in a way that is harmonious for the universe and not destructive like we're seeing here with the industrial revolution and everything. Blah. <laughs>